Salutations, and welcome to Kirby Plays Games. I am Kirby, this is Seven Days to Die, and we are back for day six of the Snow Biome Survival Series. Last night I once again had a few visitors, so I think that's been every night so far, and I also got a bit of work done on the roof and created some boxes to help me get organized. Since the Horde Knight is approaching, I want to have an idea of what will be useful. A sincere thank you to you for joining me for this episode. If you enjoy it, please do consider liking and subscribing. For today, I am planning to go and check out that little house to the southwest that we saw before when we raided the Shotgun Messiah. We definitely need some mechanical parts, so that is going to be the priority, and if there's anything else close by, we'll loot that. As a last resort to get mechanical parts, we might have to stop in at the trader, and the reason mechanical parts are valuable to us is because that will let us craft a wrench, which will give us basically an unlimited supply of mechanical parts. So if we find a wrench, that would work as well. Now I'm bringing the crossbow out because we are very low on arrows, and because the bow fires quickly... Ugh, oh, come on. I'm thinking that might be a better option for Horde Knight, and Horde Knight is fast approaching. These guys... I don't see anything else around, but we can take a peek from up on that hill once we've secured this building. Alright, it's starting to rain. Ooh, a backpack that we missed. Sham! That's actually great. Luckily, we are not getting wet. Hey, cool. We are most likely clear to check this place out. Well, let's take a peek. Hey, looks like it's deserted? Okay. Not much here. Not much challenge either, though. This probably wasn't even worth fighting the Lumberjacks for. Well, looks like that was pretty slim pickings. Wait a second, that's not our passing gas. Whoa. That's definitely worth looting. What are you sh It's just swinging at nothing. Oh my gosh, there's a pig right there. We do need food. Are you coming for me, pig? I don't want trouble with you yet. I'll take trouble with you in a minute. Let's dance! Where was that pig? There it is. I know pigs are pretty dangerous, but I really do need the meat. Oh wow, you're fast. You know what? There we go. Did we alert anyone to our presence? We need to get a silencer on this pistol. This will be really good for our food situation. It's really not that much, but better than what we had, which was less than what we just got. Passing gas is actually a really good option for finding a wrench or mechanical parts, so this is pretty lucky. We did get that book where we do bonus damage to deer. Might as well make use of it. 
can be very, very sneaky taking this deer away. I wonder if he noticed. Oh, he noticed. Hey, the sun came out. It's nice. So many yetis to clean up before going in. Hey, what's that? That looks like a mansion on a hill. I'm just gonna quick waypoint it. I'm sure I'll remember that that's a mansion. And there's a town over there. Oh, wow. That's great for, like, ooh. I was getting worried about not having enough places to loot, but that looks perfect. We're not doing it today. Today we're just gonna do this. This being the passing gas that we've stumbled across. Where are you going? Lots of practice with melee, though. I'm trying to conserve ammo as much as possible because we are coming up to Horde Night. Alright, we will clear and then loot. Oh, I see your foot. Yep, gotta reload. Oh, come on. The shelf blocked it. What a rough shot. Try to go stealthy. We just look silly. Oh, once again! I don't trust this place. Did you... Are we all cool? I didn't see experience pop up. Oh! I guess I got her. Oh, this is great. Oh. 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 Oh, no. Uh. Hopefully there's not that many of them. Like, if that's it, that's very reasonable. Destroyed. What about up here? <gasps> okay. That bird. Getting that bird before it caused a problem was kind of my priority. Hey, not bad. I'm very busy if you could not do this right now, Mr. Mr. Lumberjack. Death from above! Oh, hello. Oh, look at him! Huh, he can't get through. Must be very frustrating for you. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't jump. I'm wasting stamina. <laughs> Still, so funny. I don't even know what they're hitting. That's a good choke point. I'm gonna leave that. I think that's everything, or everyone. So we are probably okay to loot. Hey, a vending machine. That's actually a really good way to get a bit of food, because we really need food. Yeah, if you're short on food, vending machines are a really quick way to get food cost-effectively. Don't buy it from the trader. It's crazy expensive. Lucky goggles. Oh, that's wonderful. That is really wonderful. We're wearing those right away. Yay! Anyone down here that we didn't wake up already? I don't think so. 
we'll go down and check anyways. Nope. There's a working stiff box. Come on, wrench. Nope. Repair kits are definitely useful, though. Okay. Destroyed workbench. Engine! That's not a bad find. Not especially useful to us right now. You've already eaten all that food that we worked so hard to acquire. Well, there was all that stuff on the roof that we haven't looted yet, so maybe that'll be good. Very boring cooler. That's actually not super great. Wire tools, not bad. That's a lot of repair kits. We are swimming in repair kits now. Well, we did not find mechanical parts, so we are going to venture directly across to the trader. Those lucky goggles. Really great find, though. Oh, a bunny. Whoa, the bunny's drifting. That is fantastic. Hey, a blunderbuss. Sure, whatever. Another pig. We're already carrying food stuff, so this is probably worth it to stop and shoot you. Oh, he's going for the high ground. Or, he didn't notice where I am. Well, now he definitely knows. Hey, we gotta level up from killing the pig. Classy. Give me your precious sustenance. Oh, that's a bear. Oh, what the heck? That's a bear and a wandering horde. That's too many. That's too much. Traitor it is. Are they, like, fixated on me? There comes a time in every person's life when they must decide if they will engage the enemy. I kind of want to see how this plays out between the bear and the massive group of zombies. There's a very real possibility that the zombies will go after the bear. This is fascinating. It's like, oh, there he goes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Bear versus wandering horde of zombies. The epic, oh my gosh. He's ripping through them. That's two down. That's two down, the bear is on the hunt. Okay, I'm so glad we stopped to watch this. This is highly entertaining. Oh, she just smacked him, oh gosh, look at this. Bag? There's a deer here. Let's check in on the bear. Oh no. It's a good thing we decided to check in on the bear. It took out a whole bunch of them. Though so that's wicked. Well, okay. Now he's attacking the tree. Actually, he's stuck on the tree. That might be, he's not stuck on the tree. Probably shouldn't take my eyes off of the bear. I really don't want you telling everyone I'm here. Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you for going down easy. Oh, he's still going at it. Go, bear. I believe in you. I believe in you, Babu. I wonder if I could, like, make this bear my pet and then just train it to eat zombies. You know what? Bear, I'm not hunting you. You have earned... Oh, he took another one out. I'll just have to be mindful of his territory and respect him. He took another one out! You have earned your keep on this side of the mountain. That is great. Their zombie kill count is looking pretty good so far. I'm thinking five zombies, possibly. Oh, one more for the road. Take him. That's a big one, too. Very impressive. Very impressive bear. Nature is beautiful. Nature truly is beautiful. All right, he's looking my way. That's my cue to exit. 
I think that was a worthwhile distraction. It's a kitty cat. I don't think it's seeing me. This is turning out to be a much busier day than I expected. And we didn't find the mechanical parts we're looking for. But hopefully, Trader Hugh will have us covered. Food is becoming a pretty significant issue, so I'm glad we had a chance to do a bit of hunting today. At some point it would be lovely to get a farm going, although we probably won't have that in the base considering we've nestled ourselves underground. Timing is everything. Hello kitty. Sorry. Thank you for the food. Are you gonna purchase something? Greetings trader. I bring news from the outside world. Okay, moment of truth. He has them. I know we need six for a wrench. We're just gonna buy six. We're gonna double check that. Oh, wait, did we already get mechanical parts somewhere? I'm. Did anyone else catch that? Did I just buy 16 mechanical parts? What happened? I'm sure I'll catch it in the footage. Um, let's see what else we've got here. I'm gonna buy a bit of concrete mix with the money that I have left. And we are home, word bound. And we're finally approaching home. Not a ton of time before nightfall, but enough time to grab a few resources. I am genuinely curious about what happened with the mechanical parts. I have no idea how I ended up with 16 of them, and I have a sneaking suspicion that when I go back through the footage, I will find that I had actually found the mechanical parts I need. Thank you very much for joining me for the sixth day. The Horde is coming tomorrow evening, so we have a lot of work to do to prepare for that. Hopefully, I don't get eaten, and we get to have a Day 8 of the Snow Biome Survival Series. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider liking and subscribing. Have a good one!